So what does the scientific research tell us about homeopathy? As I've made clear in the preceding analysis, the theoretical underpinnings of homeopathy appear to be pure hogwash, but it is possible that the homeopaths are correct, that something mysterious is going on here that we don't yet understand, so it's worth taking a look at the research on the subject. Rather than examining individual studies, we're going to consult some systematic reviews and meta-analyses, which basically consider what consensus can be reached on a particular subject from a large number of studies. One such meta-analysis was published in April 2000 in the European Journal of Clinical Pharmacology. As we read in its concluding section, quote, There is some evidence that homeopathic treatments are more effective than placebo. However, the strength of this evidence is low because of the low methodological quality of the trials. Studies of high methodological quality were more likely to be negative than the lower quality studies. Hence quote. Another systematic review of the subject, published in 2017 by Robert Mathie et al., reached a very similar conclusion. As they write, quote, 48 different clinical conditions were represented in 75 eligible, randomized, controlled trials. 49 trials were classified as high risk of bias, and 23 as uncertain risk of bias. The remaining three clinically heterogeneous trials displayed sufficiently low risk of bias to be designated reliable evidence. The three trials with reliable evidence yielded a non-significant pooled standardized mean difference." End quote. That is to say, there was no significant difference between the control groups and the homeopathic treatment groups in these three trials. Another publication conducted a systematic review of systematic reviews of homeopathy. Incredible, I know. How long until we can read the results of systematic reviews of these systematic reviews of systematic reviews? As we read in a 2002 publication of the British Journal of Clinical Pharmacology, quote, electronic databases were searched for systematic reviews slash meta-analyses on the subject. 17 articles fulfilled the inclusion-exclusion criteria. Six of them related to reanalysis of one landmark meta-analysis. Collectively, they implied that the overall positive result of this meta-analysis is not supported by a critical analysis of the data. Eleven independent systematic reviews were located. Collectively, they failed to provide strong evidence in favor of homeopathy. In particular, there was no condition which responds convincingly better to homeopathic treatments than to placebo or other control interventions. Similarly, there was no homeopathic remedy that was demonstrated to yield clinical effects that are convincingly different from placebo. It is concluded that the best clinical evidence for homeopathy available to date does not warrant positive recommendations for its use in clinical practice." End quote. Something else that Robert Mathie et al. discovered is that, quote, there was significant evidence of publication bias in favor of homeopathy, end quote. And publication bias, for those who don't know, is basically a form of bias in the scientific literature where researchers are sometimes more likely to seek to publish, and journals are sometimes more likely to accept for publication, research which yields a positive result with a large effect, research which measures a significant difference between the control group and the treatment group, because this is seen as more interesting. This can ultimately have the effect of inaccurately skewing the research on a particular subject in the direction of, there is something going on here, when in reality this might not be the case, as would have been made clear if all research on the subject went to publication. That said, when you take a look at the studies on the subject collectively, and when you take into consideration the soundness of each study's research methodology, there does not appear to be convincing evidence that homeopathy is an effective treatment, regardless of what advocates of homeopathy will tell you when they cherry-pick individual studies, as opposed to taking a broad look at the research. I'm on Patreon. There's a link in the description if you'd like to support my content. I would really appreciate it. Uh, there's also social media links in there if you want to follow me there. I'm trying to build up some of those followings. I would really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe for more videos if you haven't already. Hit the bell. Hit the like button. Post a fucking comment. All that fun stuff that's standard on YouTube. You know the fucking drill. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this.